the snowman has seen better days. I'm out of shape, I'm out of touch, and I'm simply out of time. I need a break, and soon. But there's trouble brewing up. Stone can feel it. But... And cut. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Recently, Crunchyroll has been in a shit ton of trouble. I ignored it mostly because I figured, ah, eh, it can't be that bad. Everyone's overreacting. It's just some really frumpy women creating anime. Americans, by the way. Is it still anime if Americans make it? Like, does that even count? That doesn't make sense. Like, if you buy chocolate and it's made in America, can we still call it Belgium chocolate? I don't know. But then I figured let me look deeper into this because it seems like Crunchy rolls up to some more shit again. Which means it's a bigger dumpster fire than I originally perceived it to be. Maybe I just didn't care to be involved in more bullshit to make me lose faith in humanity. Or in this current generation of whiny bastards. Now the trailer for High Guardian Spice, which is coming in 2019, aren't you excited? Uh, likes and dislikes are hidden. What a shock. And no comments. Usually comments are the best thing about trailers like this. You go down there and read the hilarious memes people create. This show has a lot of heart that I don't think would have come through from any other studio. Well, I don't know if you've seen Grave of the Fireflies, but I highly doubt that this anime would come close to that much heart. I watched that movie and I cried for fucking days. One of the things that really attracted me to the position was the opportunity to do traditional hand-drawn 2D animation. I have a feeling that this animation isn't going to be on the level of Akira or even Dragon Ball Z Super. And Dragon Ball Z Super is like the laziest animated version of Dragon Ball Z out of all the Dragon fucking shows. It's not Dragon Ball Z, it's just Dragon Ball Super. Z was a previous iteration. Fuck you, Billy. Not only do I get to go back to the art form that I truly love, but I also get to create a studio from scratch. High Guardian Spice is about four. I don't even know if Ray Rodriguez is a man or a woman. I remember when David Bowie did like Rebel Rebel, and he's like, not sure you're a boy or a girl. It had a sort of sexy connotation to it. This doesn't feel like that. I don't feel like getting up and dancing live in a magical city and are going to school to become guardians. How come there's just never an anime that's like, you know, you, you're you like the anime's about some girl who's really depressed, but she makes depression work for her? Been alone for years and you will be for the foreseeable future. Why? Because she's youthful. I make loneliness work for me. <laughs> <laughs> My best accessory? Yeah. Loneliness. <laughs> yeah, the crippling fear of dying alone. Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe it's, it's clinical depression. depression. <laughs> you know, that could be a show. Someone get on that shit. If they had cereal, I'd buy it. The cereal would be like a little person, you know, a blue one for a boy, a pink one for a girl. Already people are triggered. And then there'd be like a chair and a noose, right? And if you got all of them together, you'd have an alibi or a reason for your suicide. You know, this is probably going really dark and nobody would buy the cereal but me. It's funny and it's warm and it's oh my god who let amelia wear those glasses when you have a face and body like that you don't wear glasses that accentuate it i mean good god the only reason why i learned how to do makeup was because i figured that was the only way to make myself socially acceptable if i made myself look better it's adventurous and they're letting us make it a little bit weird so that's very exciting <laughs> it's a little bit weird there's a centaur like we've never seen that before there's an authenticity to it and a sincerity that's uh, just heartwarming. It's a very modern reflection of the world. Our characters are really diverse, our cast is really diverse, and that's one of the things that excites Kate Leth. I've seen some tweets from this woman. You know, people ride my ass for being a dickhead, but at least I'm out in the open, I make it funny. It's all a big joke, essentially. I'm literally holding a mirror to the world and people don't really care for it. This chick genuinely believes some of the really fucked up shit she says. Choochie, Kate Leth isn't here. Oh. Calm down. Old video I did. And this is her right here. So she worked in Marvel Comics for a little while. 
She did uh, Mockingbird. Not Mockingbird. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Hellcat. She was in. Uh, she was in Daredevil for a little while. Patty, right? Or no, she was in. Uh, not Daredevil. Jessica Jones, and uh, that was her sister. And she wrote a comic book for for her. So she was working in comic books, and she said stuff like this: "Sucks to hear Stanley is a creep." But also, his entire career is built on taking credit for Kirby's work, so I was never exactly a fan. Now, I don't. If you have your certain opinions on Stan Lee and stuff that went down in the past, that's fine. But uh, you don't go to Marvel Comics and start working there and then shit all over Stan Lee. It doesn't work like that. It's like almost sacrilegious. But this is nothing compared to some of the other ones. Very icked out by how eager people are to con- congratulate men for apologizing for being despicable creeps. All right. But then you come here, men are canceled. Anyway, men are bad, dogs are good. I was trying to find, I used to have the tweet which says, Men are trash, basically. She like rambles on about how much she hates men all over her Twitter. And you come over here, and boom, she's, uh, Head, front and center in the writers' room. Excited me the most about it. People are really excited about what the show is and what it represents. The fact that Crunchyroll Originals is doing this as a 2D animated series is giving us an opportunity to do. Why is Crunchyroll doing this? Why not take that money and invest in your servers so when people watch new anime when it comes out, they don't have to wait the next day because the shit keeps crashing? I don't know. Maybe send more money to more. I don't know, Japanese anime studios because, you know, technically I'd rather see Japanese anime. The whole point of anime and the reason why it's getting so popular and manga is getting more popular than Western comics now is because none of this social justice bullshit exists in it. That's why we're there. Chicks still have big bouncing boobs and wear sexy little bikinis. Have you seen Vampirella recently? She's not wearing her fucking sexy mankini thingy. Like, why would you take that from Vampirella? It's the whole whole identity. You know what? Take the claws from Wolverine while we're at it. Jesus Christ. Everything is like whenever these like woke and social justice people touch, they have to make it fucking lame and ruin it. Like, just go away. Create your own thing. You know, do something new. Things artistically that a lot of other shows and other studios really have forgotten how to do. We are 50% female. I don't think the Japanese have forgotten how to do anime. Like, American Studios, maybe the animation sucks dick, but it's fucking America, man. Like, let's face it, America no longer produces, it just consumes. Once again, they should have put this money towards a Japanese studio. We are 50% female in all the creative roles, and our writer's room is 100% female. Oh, 50% female in all the creative roles, and the writer's room 100% female. And I bet the person who made this trailer was also a woman because it doesn't highlight anything. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because Crunchyroll's closed the Guardian Spice form thread because it was getting too political. Bad bitch. Essentially, Crunchyroll's wanted to censor people for talking about the political nature of the show. Granted, the show doesn't show much political crap, but the way that the trailer was designed, it's pretty much full on gender politics. We are 50% female in all the creative roles, and our writer's room is 100% female. So people are talking about the trailer and shit, which I think they have a right. That whole thing was gender politics. It's, it was overtly in your face. And they're just like, no, we're done, shut up. And, and people are pissed. People are not happy. People are not interested. A poll that was recently launched before it was taken down shows overwhelmingly that the majority of people don't want it. 30% are like, I don't care. And only 1%, sorry, 3.1% are like, I'm interested in this. And even when uh, one angry gamer contacted Kate Leff for her comments on the subject, she blocked him. How do you like that shit? There you go. There you, there you go. That just shows how strong you are as a person. Someone asked you a question about what your feelings were in this situation and you blocked them. But Kate Leth has no problem, you know, popping off a whole bunch of crazy ass tweets that are anti-male. Now, you know, dish it but can't take it. What are you going to do, right? It speaks about this whole generation.
It's like the, this generation is like punching someone in the face and then when they get hit back, they're like, what are you doing? This is assault. I mean, this is what my whole career has been about is trying to get those voices in there that are not being heard. I don't think anyone has seen stories quite like the ones that we're going to tell. This shit won't last a season. It'll get one season, it'll fucking bomb, people won't like it, and Crunchyroll will have to end it. And I'm sure people involved will start tweeting about uh, misogyny, patriarchy, uh, what else is there? Uh, toxic and masculinity. I know that's bad. Testosterone will probably be thrown in there. This is sad. All Crunchyroll had to do was something good. It wouldn't have been hard. If I was running Crunchyroll and someone brought this to me, we want to do a, a Guardian Spice show. I like the name. Sounds sexy. Tell me more. No, it won't be anything about hot anime girls in bikinis. It's going to be about sexually dubious characters <laughs> that run around and we're going to inject gender politics. The whole writing team is going to be women. And I'd be like, what's your name? My name is Toby. You're fucking fired, Toby. Pack your shit and leave. Why would social justice people try and get into anime? I know why, so they could ruin it like they ruined gaming. Like they're ruining comedy. I'm so tired of seeing unfunny fucking comedians on stage that are woke and all this other shit and don't have a damn thing funny to say. I'm just tired. This, this is like one of the gayest times in history in the sense of it's just lame. It's real weak. You don't have any great rock bands. We don't even have centerfolds anymore. You know, our, 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 our models are running Tinder traps and they look like the average girl that would work at Starbucks 10 years ago before it could be profitable to be a chick on a phone app. The dark times are coming. I'm out of here. I can't, I can't think of any analogies for this. It's just, good God. Smile.